Okay, so this is part four, this is uh, part five. Uh, so let's position these uh, in their position, put them in their position. So let's uh, answer all this. Uh, the quick, the easiest way to do this is uh, just go to the to the mesh and select the loop where you want to place this, and then Shift S, uh, cursor to selected, and then you can select the object, and then Shift S, selection to cursor. It will snap to that area, and now. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, these are parented to this so that when this moves uh, these also move with it so shift S selection to cursor and then we can scale it down and uh, rotate it uh, to fit that so rotate it around there So it simply needs to fit in like that. And uh, because of how it is shaped, uh, this side is larger. I don't. I won't be doing that. You can do that if you want, but uh, yeah, let me. Should I do that? So to do that, you just use this tool here and do that, but I'm not doing that. It's a lot of work. Uh, so so that should be like that, should be there. And then we need to move this here. Shift cursor to select it. So let's make an instance of this out D and then shift S selection to cursor. Rotate this. And uh, since we have that, now to mirror this here, we can just select this object here. Shift S, cursor selected, select these, Alt D to, to make an instance. And then, can if we rotated this, can that work? Mirror, sorry, is, is it cursor? If we rotated this like this, it doesn't work, but uh, if we mirror this, it should work uh, because we are mirroring it at here. Uh, but uh, then if we again mirror this at the median point, hmm, it doesn't work. But uh, we can now easily rotate this in this direction. I think in all other directions, it should be settling in just fine. So we just maybe need to move it in the y direction just a bit. And same for this side as well. Okay, so so far this is what we have. Let's hide this and hide this. So so far this is what we have. And I think it has come out quite nicely. We have uh, done the most difficult parts, uh, but uh, we still have a lot to do here. Let's this and hide this and start working on this here. here. Uh, so for this, we can just use a uh, mesh circle. Make sure we have around, uh, let's say 12 of vertices. We need to make this thing here. So you can just come in 
extrude 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 let, let me just make sure I'm getting the size right here so and then extrude like that and now if we rotate this can turn on subdivision surface maybe turn on smooth sh shading as well scale this up maybe move this like that select this Let me change this to local so that I can easily move this around. So we have something like that and uh, maybe scale this out and uh, we can use uh, the proportional editing tool and uh, to move these around so that they fit well on this here. So maybe we can isolate these two and So we have that. Uh, let's again see what we have done so far. We can hide these. And uh, this is where we are. So in the next lesson, we'll look at uh, adding more details here. So let's see what we can learn. Uh, so we, I think we are left with uh, adding this thing here and uh, maybe these details here. So we'll look at that in the next part. Thank you.